Hey guys, Captain Dylan Hubbard here at Hubbard's Marina. Wanted to tell you a little bit about our 10 hour all day fishing trip and a little bit more about what you're getting yourselves into, a little bit more about the trip, the boarding process, and more. So, if you're thinking about trying one of these 10 hour all day fishing trips, they're really, really cool and very unique. They're fun for the whole family, fun for a lot of different fishermen. This is kind of our intermediate angler trip. You have a chance for some bigger fish compared to the five hour half day, but it's not one of those trips where you're gonna see those 15, 20 pound grouper that we see on our longer range trips. We're fishing about 15 to about 25 miles from Johns Pass. And we're fishing anywhere from around 50 to 60 foot of water up to about 100 foot. We're mainly targeting a variety of different species that changes slightly throughout the year, but for the most part, we see a majority of those gray snapper, also known as a white grunt or Key West grunt, and also those porgies. Now, these are the same species we catch a majority of on our five hour half day. On the 10 hour all day, we're gonna catch more of them because we have more fishing time for them, but we're also gonna see a lot of other more kind of considered quality fish and larger fish too on this 10 hour trip. Like for example, those lane snapper, you have a much better chance of catching plenty of good eating lane snapper on this 10 hour all day compared to our five hour half day. We also see more of and have a better chance for those mangrove snapper, which can be somewhat larger, especially compared to those gray snapper or white grunts. We also have a good shot at those red grouper throughout certain times of the year when they're open for harvest. Gag grouper, you have a chance for those too. Then the hogfish, we really dial in on those well and catch them really pretty good throughout October through around May, but you have a chance for them throughout the entire year. Hogfish is a really good eating fish that loves those live shrimp and the 10 hour gives you a chance to really dial in on the hogfish. Spring and fall, we see the mackerel and maybe even kingfish. We have a variety of other heads and tails mixed in there too, but it's typically a majority of those gray snapper and porgies. You have a chance for lane snapper, maybe some mangrove snapper, maybe some keeper grouper and hogfish. If you're ready to book a trip, for this 10 hour all day. Keep in mind, we typically run Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. Sometimes we sneak some special days in there, but 99% of the time, it's only Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. So you're gonna wanna go ahead and arrive about an hour early, park in the parking garage, and then head on over to our ticket office. Once there, you can check in, get your ticket, get your receipt, and get ready for that adventure on the 10 hour all day trip once you've got your ticket and receipt you'll head over to our waiting area set your stuff down and relax we're going to do a pre-boarding seminar about 6 30 prior to that uh loading process that begins about 6 45 6 50. that little pre-boarding seminar is going to tell you more about the trip more about what you're getting yourselves into and more about the boarding process then after that we get you guys all set up and ready to load and as we head down to the boat we have to do a quick coast guard regulated and coast guard mandatory bag check the main things we're looking for during that bag check that we don't allow out on the boats we don't allow any illegal drugs and no firearms if you got any guns or drugs make sure you leave those in your vehicle also no glass containers glass and a metal boat don't mix it's unsafe also guys unfortunately no alcohol just like you can't bring a beer into a bar the state of florida says wherever there's an alcohol license you can't bring alcohol and then finally and most importantly we don't allow any bananas on board bananas are bad luck on a fishing boat and we don't allow them on the boat just keep in mind on any 10 hour trip or longer we don't allow any electronic devices with GPS. So if you have a smart watch, if you have a smartphone, a computer, iPad, Kindle, anything at all with a GPS, it is not permitted on the vessel in any fashion. Keep in mind, once you get offshore, you're gonna be outside of cell phone range. So you can't call, tweet, text, or go on Facebook offshore. Once you get out of cell phone range, that phone can't do anything except for take photos, which we're gonna do for you absolutely free, and we're gonna supply them to you absolutely free. 
unfortunately that GPS functionality of that smartphone smartwatch or any sort of GPS enabled device never fails and some dishonest people have tried to use that to steal the way we make a living on the water so leave your GPS type devices in your vehicle or you can leave them in our ticket office and we'll lock them up for you until you get off the boat so again, we'll call you for loading, we'll do that bag check, then you guys are going to enter the dock area. As you enter the dock area, we'll be there at the counter passing out the live bait. Remember, on this 10 hour trip, you have two live bait options. You've got live shrimp and live pinfish. That live pinfish, they swim right on the boat for you. You don't have to mess with the pinfish, we're going to load them up for you. They'll already be on the boat for this 10 hour all day. The live shrimp, on the other hand, you have to pick up your live shrimp on the way to the boat at the live bait counter. We're going to hand them to you in a souvenir bait bucket with a numbered lid. Remember your shrimp bucket number. You're going to take that bucket onto the boat with the lid securely closed and place it in the live well at the stern of the vessel. Then when you want to use your shrimp, you'll go back there to that live well and grab your bucket with your number on it. You can bring them by your feet at that point, use them as much as you want or as little as you want, and then bring that bucket back whenever you're ready to make sure they get some fresh water. Remember, they're live shrimp and they gotta stay in a live well in order to remain a live shrimp. Then once you get on board the boat, guys, the crew will be there to point you out to your fishing spot. Remember, when you book that 10 hour all day trip, you pick your fishing spot during that reservation. And that reservation ticket spot and spot number that you're gonna be fishing from will be listed at the top of your white receipt. So make sure you know what fishing spot number you've booked as you load. The captain will be there to greet you at the base of the gangway as well. He's going to take your ticket. Make sure you have your ticket out ready for the captain as you get to the boat. Make sure you have your white receipt out ready to pick up your bait. Then keep in mind, hold on to your ticket stub. It does a lot for you. That ticket's going to give you 10% off in our souvenir shop. That ticket's going to give you also $5 off per adult per ticket on your next visit with us so make sure you hold on to those ticket stubs they do a lot for you then once on board the boat you'll find your fishing spot put your fishing stuff down and then grab a seat once everybody's sitting down we'll get off the dock and through the bridge the captain will do some safety announcements the crew will come around and talk to each section of the boat more about the fishing we're going to be doing and more about the trip then after that you'll enjoy about an hour and a half to two hour ride out about an hour and a half to two hour ride back and about six to seven hours of fishing. Sometimes a little bit more, sometimes a little bit less. It's all in the name of catching you the most amount of fish possible. Keep in mind the crew is going to be there to help you unhook fish, replace leaders, keep track of your fish, whatever you need or want. The crew is there to help you out and we guarantee an excellent client experience with superior guest service and the crew is there to make sure you all receive that. Keep in mind the crew is helping you out throughout the entire trip. Don't be afraid to ask questions. If you have a comment, question, concern, issue, don't be afraid to bring that to our crew members' attention. The only reason they're on the boat is to make sure you have a great experience. Keep in mind when you catch your first keeper fish, the crew will assign you and your entire group a stringer number. That stringer number is for you and your entire group's catch. At the end of the trip, you tell us your stringer number and we hand you all the fish you caught. At that point, guys, you could take them home and fillet them yourself. You could fillet them yourself at one of our extra tables at your own risk. Or you can hop in line and our crew will offer a fish fillet and service. Once you have those fish filleted, you could take them home and cook them yourself. But if you don't have a way to cook them yourself, or if you're staying in a hotel and you don't feel like messing with them, keep in mind there's lots of options for you. There's three places inside John's Pass that offer to cook up your fresh fish after your trip. We've got the Friendly Fisherman next door. We've got Caddy's, a beautiful waterfront bar a little bit further down on the boardwalk. We've got the Boardwalk Grill up on the boardwalk. All different places that offer to cook up your fresh fish after your visit with us. So plenty of ways to enjoy those fresh caught fish after your trip, even if you don't have a way to cook them up yourself. And speaking of food, we do have a full galley available on the boat during your trip. You can bring your own food and drink on the boat. You can buy food and drink a la carte from the boat's galley for cash only. Or you can purchase a meal package, which is going to give you hot cooked to order food, snacks, soda, water, unlimited free water, unlimited free coffee, and happy hour beer pricing throughout the trip during that meal package. 
if you decide to purchase that or you can buy food a la carte but remember everything on the boat is cash only and if you do need some cash don't worry we've got an atm inside our front office doors as well so come out and join us for this 10 hour all day fishing trip that's everything you need to know and more check out the rest on our website feel free to watch some of our other videos check us out on social media and don't forget if you're too busy to go fishing you're just too darn busy